The opening night feature to the New York Indian Film Festival was a flick celebrating going music through the eyes of an eclectic generation of musicians in the 1960s and 70s. Let's Dance to the Rhythm kicked off a week of events and screenings in several Indian languages. Local New York powerhouses Mira Nair and Salman Rushdie were among the long list of celebrities that were walking the carpet. Every year it just gets bigger and better. Hey everyone, Jitin Hingarani here on the red carpet of the 16th annual New York Indian Film Festival that is showcasing some 55 shorts, docs, and feature films for the rest of the week. And it all kicks off with the opening night go and film, Let's Dance to the Rhythm. What was it like playing this lead role? You're the singer, you're the ingenue, and you know this man, a little bit older than you, falls in love with you. Talk, talk about that journey for you on this film. What was great about it is that it let me play a really wide uh, range of uh, A emotions and also the range, age range that, that I was playing, because it's uh, over a period of uh, a decade or two. So uh, that was great. I great You've really been touting the programming this year on Facebook. Your tweets, your Facebook messages have said this is some of the best programming of the year. What do you think makes it such? Well, for one thing, we've added a couple of extra days, so we I think we, it's an eight-day program. I think we have 45 uh, programs, including five or six, which are uh, focused on shorts only. So. Um, we have a range of films, a range of films from various regions. We have an Assamese film, we have like what, three Tamil films, we have six Bengali films. I mean, this is in addition to Hindi films, of course, and all of these films are subtitled. So it's a very rich program, really. And of course, I'll go on Twitter and Facebook and promote it. actually seen the trailer of this film and I'm, I'm very excited to, to watch the film. Talk to those who don't kind of understand what Rajnikanth symbolizes to his fans. So Rajnikanth, I mean, I have been following the fans for about five years. Well, four years and then the last year was mostly editing. And he is God. That's the only answer. Every time I spoke to them and I asked them, tell me about Rajnikanth, he is God is the answer. My film is Peace of Mind Guaranteed. Um, it's a little short film. It's a comedy of errors about a couple and set in Mumbai. They are sitting in a doctor's office anxiously awaiting the paternity test results of who's the father of their baby. I'm afraid I have bad news. It's not your baby. Well, this film's is Pyle's creation. She uh, approached me about it some years back and I was like mind blow blown away with the way the story, the script and, and what it was about, about women's empowerment, about uh, it's very inspirational, a story out of India. We could have made it in a documentary fashion too, but it was more powerful as a narrative. Pyle, talk a little bit about the film and what is the premise and what you hope audiences, uh, you know, kind of walk away with after watching this. So the film is called Leeches. It's in the uh, short film competition at Knife. Um, the film is about a young woman in Hyderabad, in the old city, who lives in a very poor Muslim community. There, there are very poor communities in Hyderabad. And uh, there is this practice of temporary marriage, contract marriage, that has been um, happening for decades, you know, years and years and years. It's a very old tradition, but the shocking thing, what nobody knows, is that this tradition continues to this day. I'm part of the animation panel, um, Kotalengo Leon, Sanjay Patel, Sanjay Super Team. Uh, Kotalengo and I won an Academy Award this year for uh, technical achievement across uh, about 30 or 40 films that we work on. India Calling is a 20 minute short. It's directed by Vinay Pajara. I'm one of the co-producers -produ uh, and the lead actor. And India Calling is an immigrant story. It's a story of a couple that lives in New York. And it's uh, the dilemma that one goes about having an elder parent 
back home and contemplating whether the parents should be brought here or whether we should move back. So it's a story that basically touches a lot of different immigrant communities. I'm with you, Abhi. I'll be happy as long as we're together. My connection with this festival is like, it's almost like family. So I really like showing my films because it has a nice Indian community and it actually tells you, a, gives you a sense of what the diaspora actually is appreciating, which is, I think, is very important for all independent filmmakers. Now the client is good. Now he's brought it, right? You've seen the client. Now it's about two, a man and a woman who get, both of them who get attracted to a third person who's a stranger. So how that relationship uh, plays out and it's set across two road trips in the city of Delhi. So and with a dark ending, of course. Hello ji. My film is called Kothanudi. It's an Assamese language film. Uh, it's done its rounds around the festival now. We're just finishing off the festival round by coming here. And we plan to release in July. The film is called Kagaj Ke Kashti, Paper Boat. It's a biopic on Jagjit Singh, the legendary Ghazal singer. And uh, it's an account of uh, his small town background and how he grew up and what made his music uh, so pioneering that it changed an entire genre in his time. Blind Spot um, is... Um fiction short. It's about coming of age uh, or a Pakistani woman who's just arrived in New York and her experience in Central Park. What makes your film buzzworthy, would you say? It's uh, because nothing like it has been uh, done from India before. Uh, India and UK, it's a British Indian co-production. It's uh, no, one has, uh, no one has done an English, English language teen sex comedy set in the 80s ever from India. Is it Mills and Moon romance? Indeed! Cheers! Yes. I don't really drink. Nonsense. Everybody drinks. This film is a mystery thriller. It's uh, set in Bangalore and it's about a uh, road accident and a journalist sort of, uh, you know, getting in and investigating about it. So it's, at the end of the film we want to try and create a bit of awareness about traffic. Under the circumstances, you are a suspect. It feels good to be home. Uh, for me, being at Naya feels like being at home. Uh, I kind of grew up at this film festival as a volunteer, and now I'm so excited to come back with a new short film uh, called Miss Align with my beautiful cast and crew. Tell us a little bit about the film and your role and uh, what your involvement is. Yeah, so Growing Up Smith is a story about first time love, first love, childhood heroes, and growing up in small town America in the 1970s, all told through the eyes of a young Indian boy. It's one of my favorite films that I've done the last few years. Beautiful, beautiful, and touching and moving, and universal and very relevant. I have been a great supporter of Arun for many years, and uh, I think this is a labor of love, what she puts up, and I really wanted to come out here and support her. I did this last year and here I am again. She said, Poonam, you have to be here and so I'm here. To do it 16 years in a kind of non-profit way, but still to have all the trappings of something that is absolutely you know, professional. Well, it's very nice to see that it is doing that. I think it's become a much bigger deal you know it started off in a in a humble way you know and i think what is good is that now it does both things it both promotes the work of indian americans and it introduces people here to work from india you know so the transaction works both ways and i think that's nice i heard it's very good things about it i've heard it's a very nice film festival and i'm looking forward to watching some of the movies uh, i love watching uh, indian films in all languages It's a little-known fact about how pervasive jazz was in India once upon a time. 
Let's Dance to the Rhythm chronicles where jazz music flourished outside the realms of popular Hindi cinema. Now, Hansel Mehta closes out the festival with Aligarh tonight. Log on to IAC.us forward slash NIAF 2016 for more information.